Hello all, Light here. Just looking to talk a little bit about investments and how they work. And how you can get the players in your guild to equally share them. And I want to be looking at the Lumberyard because that is a building that we still need to get to level 18. And it's a good one. Uh, what an investment is, it's the number of times somebody has invested. So we're not looking at the amount somebody's invested, rather the number of times they've invested. Uh, with ticks, that's what they're called, uh, when somebody invests more and more and more of them, they become increasingly more expensive. So ideally you want to equally share those between everyone in your guild. And I'm just setting up a spreadsheet so that you can sort of see how you could show your guild where some players need to invest more and some players don't need to invest at all. So in order to show everyone a nice picture on how they're doing side by side, we're going to get everyone's names and we're just going to plug them into our spreadsheet. And there are 20 players in Storm's End, so we're going to pull up 20 people here. Now in the next column here, we're just going to put the number of investments or ticks that every player has. And we're going to go through the sheet. We're going to find each person. And as you can see, it does not take long to do. It's very easy to do. So there's me. 793. Plug it in. And usually I just put the player's name at the top of the screen. It's really easy that way to just see the smaller number underneath, which is the number of ticks or the number of times they've invested in the tower. Ticks are important because it's what levels the tower. It takes X number of ticks to level every single tower. So by putting them on a spreadsheet like this, it's much easier to see uh, how many ticks everyone has. And I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit here so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to do a total. We're going to see how many ticks everyone altogether has. Now, that is not going to be what you see in the game because you're at a certain level already. So we're just going to add all these up. And now to see the game display, which is what we want to do, because that makes it much easier for someone to update the numbers. If you look at your sheet and the uh, display number that you have on your sheet is different from what you have in the game, you know that somebody has put some investments in there somewhere, and it makes it much easier to see when you know how many to do. So you can see that we have... 1,165 ticks into level 17. So we need to see where level 17 started. And in order to get there, we need to pull up the sheet, which you can see on the official web website. And it's really convenient because you can just go, oh look, here it is, Lumberyard. Level 17, it needed 15,200 ticks. I'm just gonna show you where that is on there. And we're just going to grab that number, 15,200, and we're going to pull that over to our sheet. So, level 17 needs 15,200 ticks. Now, in order to see the game display, what we're looking at in game, we're going to take the number of ticks that we have in the house, and we're going to subtract that from the number of ticks 
level 17 needed. And as you can see, it matches the number of ticks. And if somebody were to invest one or two, it is much easier to spot. And we just go in and we update it. And then we know that it's been updated. Now to get this to level 18, we want to plug in 18. We're going to go, you want 18. That's what we want to get to. We're at 17 now. We want to get to 18. We need the number of ticks that 18 needs to get to. So we're going to go back to the spreadsheet. We're going to go back into the buildings. We're going to look up the lumber yard. And we're going to look for level 18 and see how many ticks it needs. 18,720. So we're going to take that number. We're going to plug that into our sheet. Now, in order to see how many every player needs in the guild, we're going to take that 18,720 and we're going to divide it by the number of players in the guild. There's 20 players in Storm's End, so we need to do that number divided by the number of players, which is 20. Now we can see how many ticks every person needs to reach in order for that tower to level on an equally shared contribution from everyone. So we're going to give everyone that number of ticks to achieve. And if you want to do a counterbalance, which I usually do, because I just, you know, I like to triple check everything. We can just add up all those numbers and make sure it also adds up to 18,720. Okay, now in order to see how many ticks everyone needs, what we need to do is we need to subtract the ticks that we need from the ticks that we have. So my tick, 793, minus the ticks needed. It shows quite clearly I need 143 to get to my equal contribution. And now just to make it easier for people to understand, we're going to put some conditional formatting in here so that it's really easy for people to get. So I want to make it all green. And we're going to set up a conditional formatting. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight it all. We're going to make a conditional format where any number that's below zero, which is the number people need to get to to equally share this thing, it's going to show us red. Nobody likes red dots. They want to make them go away. So any number less than or equal less than zero. And we're going to make it red. And we'll make the yellows yellow. <laughs> These are the ticks people need. So when they get to zero, their number goes green. And people like it when their numbers go green because it means, hey, I've reached my equal share. And as you can see, there's two players already in Storm's End that have already passed the number of ticks they need to be have their equal contribution in the guild. So if they're looking at this chart, they could be like, hey, We've made it. We've already done it. We don't need to, uh, we can work on something else until everyone else catches up. And if everyone hit exactly zero, the tower would be, have enough ticks to get to the next level. Anyways, if you guys like my little spreadsheet presentation here, I got lots of tricks like it. So if you'd like to see more stuff like this, just let me know and you know where to find me. And you guys have a great day.